Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Fogo the Observer, and this is a new series that I'm making. It's called One Way to Draw. Blah blah blah. So in this case, it's hair. So it's one way to draw hair. Now I know many ways to draw hair, but instead of overwhelming you with all of the many ways I know how to draw hair, I thought I'd just for each video show you how I can draw at least one so I have these two head templates that I just drew nothing special it's a side profile and then one that you can sort of uh, you can kind of see a side profile from the back almost so what you're gonna want to do now is okay you know what so I'm gonna run rename this Face line art, and we're gonna make the actual hair outlines on the new layer. Okay, so although the, this won't really be outlines because they're they're gonna be sort of thick. I don't really know what I'm gonna what kind of hair I'm gonna draw, but let's let's start anyway. Let's have like a little thingy, like a flop on the front. Like this. And you don't have to be all that um, stiff or strict with this. Um, it might be a bit too much. The back of the head, I'm planning for it to be somewhere here. So this looks kind of uh, cartoony. And we're gonna just ignore the ears for now. Okay, a knot. So maybe we can just erase, eh? That was my dog. Erase this a bit, because it's supposed to be a knot. It's a knot. Okay, so line art, well not line art, outlines, underdrawing, the sketch, whatever you want to call it. So this goes on top, and after this, what you're gonna have to do is fill in the flat colors below. Let's do that. And assuming you've made the outlines extra tight, like there are no blank spaces like this. Everything's closed and closed. So you might be able to just color drop it and 
fill it in quick like that, but I didn't do that, so I'm gonna just do the one method, which is tried and tested, works every time, and that's just to um, do it by hand. Okay, I'm gonna start. This is slow, it's quite slow, but it works. Like you won't have to worry of, um, about, you won't have to worry about this not working. So you can just do this. And towards the end, it should be completely, uh, completely okay. This thing should look weird. And since this is a line art, it's sort of like an underdrawing. Uh, Why does it seem like it's... Oh no, never mind. Um, anyway, so this is a line art, right? It's more like... Uh, drawing an underdrawing like a sketch you don't have to worry about staying in the outlines too much like a little bit spilling here and there is fine Dog's making his bed. <laughs> so that's scratching me here. Okay. Click there. By the way, the new Twitter logo is so bad looking, huh? It's like a black and white X. It's just got nothing to do with the word tweet. Very strange. The redesign. I think we are actually just almost done. Sort of haloing around the edges. Okay, let's give this a try. Um, I don't see any. I don't see any bits that aren't filled in. Okay, so. 
that's one way to do it. Now, what I like to do is go with like a dark red color. And that will be the color of the hair outlines. And you can just merge that. And now this will be a multiply layer. Okay. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you play around down here. And I like to do it by just going on a clipping mask layer above it. And I pick a darker color and I just lightly make touches here and there. Although that might be a bit. So let's go. So it's a dark color and not full opacity, somewhere down the middle, somewhere around halfway. Just do a bunch of that and a little bit along the outlines. You can go bigger too. Right over here. Um, I would like to blend using, this is going to be a default Procreate brush, the medium hard one. And again, opacity is somewhere down the middle. Oops. Now you can go quite saturated now for variety. can even go the same um, tone, but then you pick a different color. And since this is a dark spot over here, so we're gonna, I'm going to try to fill it in in one go without letting go of my brush. spot there and I can do that again to this bit here that's supposed to be further away now that's rough right so you can blend not a, but not the whole thing just a little bit it's okay um, right around the part where, well, <laughs> where the part is, um, you could go dark. And now uh, we've done a lot of darks, right? So I think it's time to go brighter now. So brighter color. Actually, you can go quite close to white, but reduce the opacity. Do it again. 
little darker again. Where this knot and the back of the head meets. Um, so there's this strand of hair here um, for the hair in the back. I mean, underneath it. So let's add a shadow. We can also add a shadow here. In between the, I uh, don't know what it's called, each lock of hair, I guess. Now, what you can do now is make a new layer on top, clip that below, set, set it to multiply, and now you can just use the soft brush, and I like to go with, let's see, a cool color. with a cool color, the shadows, around the bottom parts, but then also have some warmer ones too. Let's do it here. I mean, this is a power you can sort of just go crazy. As long as it's subtle, it's fine. You can have a whole bunch of a uh, bunch of different shades of shading on the multiply layer. As long as it's subtle, it's okay. Uh, let's go for another big one. Here, somewhere. Or not. No. Let's go make another layer. Set that to add. Let's make that a bright, warm colored highlight. Okay. It's quite bright, but that's okay. I'm gonna set the background to a darker color, so it's easier for you to see. And the next step, for the next step, you can sort of do it on this same layer, or you could make a new one just to be safe and do it on this layer, okay? So I believe I was using actually one of my own brushes pressure medium. I've shown you how to do this, uh, how to make this brush in the previous video. Not a specific tutorial video, but I have shown you how to do it. Um, if you'd like to download this brush, you can go check out my Gumroad. It should be there for free. Um, links are down below in the description. So now what you're doing is bringing out those bright bits of hair you know the parts that are catching light um you can go lower opacity and very close to zero actually go 
little bit bigger. And do this. And we can add some more. Okay. Going back to the smudge tool using medium hard brush. It's a default Procreate one. And opacity is somewhere down the middle. Just gonna gently blend the ends of it. Okay. Don't overdo it. A little bit here on the knot. That's not bright enough. Make it okay, smaller. Okay, there. So that's one way to draw hair. Although, if you'd like to go even further, if you want to be professional, right? You can make a whole new layer. It's not clipped to anything, and it happens to be on top of everything else. So this one's set to normal. You could take the same color as any part of hair. Let's let's say this part of hair, okay? Like where the not meets the head so you could make another hair strand going like that and you could take this part right here with that color and you could make another loose strand this one as well and don't forget the darker ones too <laughs> that might look a bit too crazy, so let's leave it like this. Okay, let's make some more. You can make really thin ones. You can make big ones too, and maybe not as opaque. Looks good. You can even go the extra mile and do this now. So you could do color dodge. And again, on top of everything else, above the outlines, above the actual color layer for the hair. So above of everything, uh, you could do a color dodge layer. See? Although, maybe not over there. You can do it here. Around the edges of where the hair is. Rim lighting, I believe it's called. Do it here. Forget a darker color ones too. You could even go a different hue. Um, so we're right here now, right? And this, using this color, this shade of orange, you could use a, a different color, sure, but don't go too far. You know, like over here, on the bottom. Like if if you're right here, just. You can deviate left or right a little bit, just not too much. 
Otherwise, it will look weird. Now you can go... You can make another layer. An add layer. Although, I don't, I don't like this one, though, so I'm gonna undo. Okay, so make a new layer. This one's gonna be add. This one's gonna be even brighter than before. Now you're really pro. More rim lighting. Look at the bottom part here. Oh, and this part is sort of hidden in shadow, right? So the upper part of the head is more um, highlighted. So you, you can add it down here, but just don't... Not too much, because it's supposed to be dark. A little bit's okay. Maybe you can make tiny ones. Like so. Um, next thing you can do is, now this is if you're feeling extra professional, okay? So you could, on a new layer, above the outlines, you know, the one that's set to multiply, make a new layer and then clip that below. And on this layer is where you're gonna, once more, sort of go crazy. And if you want the easy way, you could just set the opacity down lower. So like this looks kind of okay. It, you can, this is passable as something more painterly, right? Just merely reducing the opacity. But we're going to customize it somewhat. So it's more reliable. Um, let's go with the soft brush and go with pure white. Okay, why? Because if you set anything to multiply, but that color happens to be pure white, guess what? It's not gonna show, right? And if you set it to pure black, it's gonna be super intense. So using a pure white on top of, I'm using a pure white on the multiply, on the multiply layer is sort of a way to erase it out. Now you can do it here, and using the alpha lock pair. But this time I'm gonna do it on a new layer, which is clipped to the one below. So that way, let's see, I do something here. I can give you the before and after, like that. Easy. So I'm just gonna clear that lower opacity so I can do this slowly and more accurately. Now for the parts that are more exposed to light, I'm gonna just sort of erase out these super dark bits. They can go away. This one too. Once closer to the roots, we can keep. And this dark part, because it's supposed to be underneath shadow anyway. So it's like a flop, like a floppy fringe. You can just leave that. And this one, can kind of get rid of. One, two. Okay. So, now if you're gonna be even more professional on the skin layer, so it's gonna be, of course, underneath the hair, but on top of the skin, it's going to be where your shadows are. So, I'm just gonna make a multiply layer here. 
And let's go with uh, something that goes well with gray, I guess. I don't know, another gray? Let's test it out. That looks not saturated enough. No. Okay, this is fine. So, going back to the drawing brush, where is it? Uh, remember, if you want this brush, you can just go check out my camera. It's available for free. You can just um, add it to your shopping cart, add in a number, or you could put zero, and then click check out. So, you see all this all these strands of hair right so you could just follow where the shadows might fall like this And we can sort of just change this later anyway, so it's not very... Doesn't really matter how it looks now. And we're gonna go with um, another default Procreate brush. The soft brush. Just soft shadows here and there. We can blur this a little bit. No, let's just smudge. Actually, we can, I think we can delete this one. It's kind of annoying. So let's smudge. Now, we can alpha lock this using the soft brush. We can make certain bits brighter and certain parts maybe even cooler and also warm ones. So this is a skin color. Go with I don't know. That I guess. This is what it's gonna look like. Now a good thing that you can do is add shadows for the hair. Where there is no hair. So it's a good way of sort of indicating that there actually is shadow cast from hair that you didn't even draw. You know what I mean? Like you're drawing here, oops, and then there's more here somewhere. can make that blur. So that's one way you can draw here. Hopefully not too confusing. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to just ask down below and I'll do my best to answer. And I'm gonna make sure to show you other ways I can draw hair in other videos. So it might even be using the same exact brushes or technique, but like, um, I'll give you an example. The outlines might be thicker. 
Like I've made hair like this before using this brush, like the outlines are this thick. But then towards the end, have it look like this anyway. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, good luck trying, have fun. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.